So, Ellis, this is your guy on the beach, which, by the way, I want you to know, Ellis, I can't get that vision out of my head, and I'm, I'm, I'm screwed up for the rest of the day, but I'm going to let that pass. That's not your fault. Um, but let's start things off with you. The Democrats knocked former President Trump for golfing a lot. We know that. They were all over it. The news was, you know, really slamming him for golfing. Now he's biking, vacationing. Um, is this the right look ahead of a major international <laughs> meeting for Biden? What's up, everybody? Major retired Richard Ojeda here. And you guys didn't mind when Donald Trump looked like a whale in a polo shirt waddling around the golf course. American columnist Ellis Hennigan wiped the smile off the face of Newsmax host Michael Grimm on Sunday when talking about the president's recent trip to a Delaware beach. Grimm wanted to portray a shirtless Biden as being offensive to him, but instead participated in age discrimination. I can't believe this is your, your argument today, Mike. This is un-American. Un-American. Denying the poor man, a, denying the man a chance to, 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 to visit the beach? My God. Grimm, who himself looked like he stepped out of an infomercial for a garlic supplement, got put in his place by Hennigan when he moaned about not being able to get the vision of the shirtless president out of his head. I mean, listen, we want presidents who are, who are energetic, who are rested, and who are very focused on the job. This thing, honestly, Mike, and you know it, it's just a test on how hostile you are to the president. Now, you guys didn't mind it when, when Trump, looking like a big whale in a polo shirt, was waddling around the golf course. I guess you all thought that was, I don't know what, attractive or manly or something, and, and you just hate it when Biden does it. So this is just a... This is just a test of how much you like or hate the guy. President Biden was seen on a beach in Delaware with the First Lady and his granddaughter. Numerous pictures were taken of the family enjoying their time at the beach. Video shows a healthy 80-year-old man walking on the beach, sunbathing, and being active. Michael Grimm of Newsmax had a different take on the family getaway, though, and made false comparisons. Hennigan pointed out that this is just a test to determine how hostile Grimm is to the president. Grimm and the rest of the right-wing media didn't say a thing when Donald Trump was waddling around his golf course with his pants full of stains. None of them want to admit that Donald smells like a dirty diaper all of the time and that he can't control his bowels. Yet they want to make fun of Joe Biden. Donald Trump is a sloppy pig that sweats butter. He could barely walk down a ramp at West Point, much less walk up a ramp in Colorado like Joe Biden did. Donald Trump eats garbage and he wants the nation's children to eat badly too as he tried to dismantle Michelle Obama's Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act. The Trump proposals allowed more pizza and pot uh, potatoes over vegetables and whole grains. So why is it that meatheads like Michael Grimm and friends want to defame Joe Biden over bodily appearance but don't have a problem with elevating a goon like Donald Trump who looks like a chewed up bag of bubble gum? It's because they can't admit that they were wrong. They can't admit to themselves or others that Joe Biden won fair and square. They can't admit that Donald Trump is the cause of his own problems and that he is facing hundreds of years in prison. They can't admit to their own disturbing truth and face the fact that they support a loser. Michael Grimm's viewpoint is subjective. It's not factual. He's presenting his stinking opinion in the hopes of influencing others to join him in making fun of others to make themselves feel better about being steaming piles of dog crap deep down fact. Michael Grimm and Newsmax should be ashamed for the cruel misrepresentation of Joe Biden and his family. What all of these MAGA moron journalists are not covering is that there's only a couple of years difference that separate Joe Biden and Donald Trump in age. Joe Biden can ride a bike, run a 5K, and is an extremely active 80-year-old. Donald Trump, on the other hand, is a sloppy mess. He showed up to recent events in dirty suits and dirtier diapers. His hair looks like a taxidermist put a squirrel's tail on his head, and his physique looks like a bag of pumpkin seeds. Michael Grimm is an egotistical moron, and that is a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.